Hi Libras. Thank you for viewing me today, Libras. This is your general reading. Welcome in, you guys. My name is Elena. If you've never viewed me, I am looking at your current energies. This is good for all placements, for the beautiful sign of Libra, for the collective. Stuck in mud flew out, and um, I, I do a lot of cleansing and shuffling before I come on camera, and the repetitive message I see around you right now is, Libra, is to put the past behind you. Stop ruminating or feeling as if you're being pulled in something from the past because I feel spirit guides are telling me that right now around you is you're on abundant new beginnings sort of new journeys of your life. Focus on that. There's something right now around you, Libras, that spirit guides are saying you're not struck in, struck in mud. <laughs> you're not stuck in mud. You got the dragon's lair, uh, big power around you. It's of wisdom. We are in the year of the dragon. It's telling me that there's a lot of things going on around you right now, Libras, that you have the power to tap into your own fire energy of wisdom, your air, but stop putting your own dreams and manifestations on ice. All right, I'm gonna begin. <clears throat> and then I have the butterflies and metamorphosis transformation. A lot of things going on around you right now, Libras. I always go by how I feel. Let's begin spirit guides for Libras. Current energies, strongest, I need to see. I will be looking at your recent past afterwards for messages, what's coming in for you in the next few weeks, and then love crossing towards the end for Libra, please. Flying with your tailsman, your ship at a distance. I feel there's things pushing you in a new direction, Libras. One more shuffle for Libras. The Talesman is about your own creations that you're going to pull in. But there's something that I feel you're being pushed towards and it's about your abundant new journey. Spirit guides, current energies for Libras. What do I need to see? Current energies for the sign of Libra. This reading, thank you, is for please. I did see the ghost lands as well during my pre-shuffle, meaning something from the past. Uh, there's your talesman, you guys. You're being led in a beautiful direction right now because I have follow the leader and then I have the compass. The compass. The compass is about your north node and you don't need to know it. You don't need to know it. I've got to slow my speech down because words come flying out. You do not need to know it. But the compass is telling me that things are moving in the right directions for new journeys, new beginnings, but you must take a leap of faith with something, Libras. The metamorphosis, you're shifting into a new you, a butterfly. It's like there's, you're leaving like an old cocoon of yourself behind. You're about to, you're about to switch into this beautiful butterfly of flying from flower to flower, but you gotta take a leap of faith with something here. You gotta take a risk because when you do that, spirit guides are telling me it's going to push you in the right direction. I'm gonna look at your current energies, but when I say follow the leader, I want you to see the color green. That's abundance. The talesman is telling me there's something at a distance from you. You have the yin and yang ball in your hand with the blue crystal of manifestations that everything is trying to fit in your life, but you must find balance with the positive things and the negative things. And to realize that you must be getting signs right now of going in the right direction is taking you back to your true core, a place where you need to be a big part of your path and destiny. All right, sad embrace and venturing into the unknown. Stop holding on to things that have hurt you. It's like spirit guides are telling me that this is, is once again, I feel one part of your reading today was put the past behind you. You know, stop holding on to things that have hurt you. And even though you may not have your clarity on situations in your life at the moment, you need to venture into the unknown. If you've been having an energy around you that you want change and you want to take a leap of faith in which direction do you go, spirit guides are telling you right now you're getting signs. You're getting some type of information from other sources. The universe is always behind everyone and everything you're connected to. It's to lead you into the right direction. And it's all about letting something go, venturing into the unknown. You are turning into the butterfly, a new you. Peaks of joy, the last card they gave me. Oh my God, Gemini, I got that balancing act. And you know, sometimes the air goes through certain energies of the same, but this is a ship on a wire. Uh, it's like you're headed towards a lot of beautiful things right now around you, Libras. 
But the balancing act is about looking at the things in your life that are worth forward movement and looking at the things in your life that you shouldn't go back to. Because I feel your whole reading right now is telling me to tell you to follow the energies coming your way. Follow the things that keep pushing you in a new direction. Something is trying to push you off a, a, a part of yourself into a new direction, a new journey, a new leap of faith. And when you do that, there's going to be something in your life that is just going to flourish. And it's about making a choice right now and realizing that you have the power. The One Ring Circus. The elephant on top of the cliff above a body of emotion, emotion. And then there's a new moon for new beginnings. And then things shall come to life and lead you to your wishing well. Like everything's lined up for you because I do so much pre-shuffling. That everything around you right now is trying to tell you to look at the things in your life that aren't hurt worth holding on to anymore. This is an old energy. You know, make a choice. Thank you. Flow <laughs> to balance something in your life. It's the ship on the wire because you are all about justice and balance. And know that, I fell on my lap, know that wherever you're at, it's all about making a choice about what you truly want in your life for your own happiness right now. And you're just in a little bit of a metamorphosis here. The, the, you're, the rest of it's coming off. You are shifting into the butterfly. And I feel spirit guides are telling me to tell you to go, Libras, go. Go towards the things in life that are new, for a new you. Have the faith and commitment and you are in charge of your own destiny and your own life because this is the elephant on a cliff. The strength, the wisdom, and you're sitting on top of the element elephant for new beginnings. I get very excited when I start to get into readings, you guys. So if you've never viewed me, I know the energies. I feel the big message around you right now is stop holding on to something that has hurt you. Start realizing it's time for you to move forward with new things in your life to take a leap of faith with. Everything is going to play out for you. Things will come to life. So if you've been in a little bit of a weird energy of holding on to some things that have hurt you, I'm here to tell you it's time for you to look in a new direction for your own happiness and watch what you pull in. All right, I'm going to look at your recent past now, Libras, because that's what I like to do for messages. I am going to, I think I'm going to see the world. Something came full circle in your life and it was it was a close of chapters and now right now spirit guides are telling me you're headed in new beginnings, new new abundant journeys of your life. Let's look. I'm gonna use a writer weight today. I will be getting messages and then I'll do some incoming strongest energies and messages. And then we'll just move forward. Three of Wands, something at a distance. Page of Pentacles, something new and solid in your hands. A lot of nighttime ruminating but finding the will and determination to trust your own intuition to move towards something. You had a hard time because you had a hard time putting the past behind you about something. You had to find peace and harmony with the star. Star is all about hope and faith again, but whatever you've been through was to teach you about a bigger you, a better you. And spirit guides are telling me right now, you're going towards new adventures, new journeys. But there's something they want you to let go of and take a risk with something and realize you have the power to create something of magnificence in your life right now. Recent past for Libras. What do I need to see? For messages, thank you. Recent past for the sign of Libra. Strongest. Messages, thank you. Okay. The lovers, destiny choices, karmic connections, journey. You know, I will tell you, whenever I see the lovers, I don't do love till the end, but it's Gemini energy and it's always about making a choice. You had to find something about your own healing powers of hope and faith. You had to make some hard choices recently behind you and it was about the connections that you were tied to. Ace of Cups, the Magician, and then finding the will and determination to go after it with your own intuition. Nighttime Reminating. What do I feel here, Geminis? You had to take... Oh my God, why did I say Geminis? Oh, because I saw the lovers. Okay, Libras, this is what I'm going to say to you. That sometimes in life, we have to realize that we need to be our own ringmaster. Like you had to come back into an energy of realizing you had the power to create something all along in your life. But the chariot's here, it's Cancerian energy, and 
I just kind of feel spirit guides are telling me that your intuition, Libra, is all along was telling you which direction to go. But you had to find peace and harmony and have faith again in something. And I feel it was about the choices you made towards parts of your destiny for new opportunities with love. And I'm not talking just relationships. I'm talking a new lease, of, new lease of love on life with everything. All right, let's, let's begin. And then some nighttime just playing something over and over in your head. I feel it was about something that had come to a closure because the ten of swords is staring at me sideways that you didn't let go of okay the world and it's in reverse and i knew i was going to see it because i saw your current energies and it was telling me that there was something recently behind you that had come full circle but you didn't want to close the chapter i don't know what it's about big major arcana though because after the world is new beginnings and right now spirit guides are telling me you got you got rescue in the metamorphosis like they're they're telling me that something behind you had to be a chapter in your life, but it was over. You could have closed the book. They wanted you to close the book, but you had a hard time releasing it. And I'm only saying that because when the world is in reverse with the Ten of Swords sideways, it's telling me that whatever you've been through recently behind you was to teach you about your own faith your own peace and harmony, your own healing journey, and finding your will and determination to go after the things you wanted to create in life. I feel you just had a hard time letting go of something because I hurt you. Get it? It hurt you. And it put you in a protective energy of the Nine of Wands, telling me that you had, you just felt like wounded. Like, I don't even think new chapters are possible for me. It's okay, I get it. Because right now I'm here to push love and light and I'm gonna tell you what's around you. You had to take charge of certain situations in your life. And the Aries Emperor is big energy, Libra. And it's telling me that you had to come into an energy of determination, power. It was around you all along. It was something that wounded you. It was like, it's okay. We all get wounded from things in life. And then we just don't want to do anything because we're afraid it's going to play out again. But you came back into a lot of power. But I feel that coming into your current energies, you're still holding on to something kind of tight. And I got metamorphosis. Spirit guides are telling me that whatever you're going through right now, Libras, you are transforming into the butterfly. This is transformation. You've been through a dark night of the soul. You had to do a lot of evaluations about things that recently were parts of your life. They played a very important role to teach you something about your own power, teach you something about your own determination. And I feel spirit guides are telling me right now it's time for you to take a leap of faith. It's time for you to realize that whatever you've been through, it was a journey. It was a chapter. It's closed. Let it go and get ready for all these abundant new chapters headed your way. I feel this is your reading. You're getting a lot of signs right now. You're following certain energies and spirit guides are saying it's going to take you home. It's going to take you to your tree. You guys, you finished off with transformation and right around you right now, you're in, you're in metamorphosis. You're, you're shifting into the butterfly. Something in your life is shifting in the right direction. You need to go with it. And that's where I'm going to leave it. All right, you're getting the signs, you're getting the knowledge, you need to, to take the power and do it. Now, I'm going to look at what's coming in for you, Libras, because it's so important. You know, we, if, we, if we're aware of the energies coming our way in the next week to two weeks, we embrace it. And I feel spirit guides are going to tell me that it's all positive movement forward. I'm doing the psychic tarot cards. I got wisdom, your third eye, and the shadow side, attachments, things from the past. And then you have the sun before you between your two fountains of emotion, material and spiritual prosperity. Spirit guides are telling me in the next few weeks, you'll look back, but it's going to teach you something about your own positivity and coming back into the light, the power of faith. I think that something's coming in for you to make you have a vision, to make you see something with your third eye, the clarity. You know, our third eye is where we project the things that we want in life. We have a vision of it. We, they come into creation. Incoming strongest energies for Libras, please. Thank you. What would you like to show me? Changes. Beautiful changes. Spirit guides. Wow, I started hearing that David Bowie song. Changes. Turn around and something. I don't even know. Okay, spirit guides. Strongest incoming. That was weird. For Libra. Strongest incoming energies. Next few weeks, please. What do I need to see for the sign of Libra? Strongest incoming for the sign of Libra. They were like all over the place. That was really weird. Okay, underneath the deck is I have the Empress. 
Ah, uh, the angel of abundance, you guys. All right, this is the energy coming in for you. This is about you birthing something new for your life and tending to your garden because this angel of abundance attracts everything in the right way. It all comes to the angel empress. But there's certain situations that you keep going back to and it's the devil, temptation, things that aren't healthy for you. Your guides are telling me it's time for you to move on. You guys, and there's changes. I just feel that spirit guides are just telling me that right now, you know, follow the leader and go with something and take charge of something because what's coming in for you is a place of abundance, to nurture it, to birth something new, to plant your seeds, to harvest your own garden. It's time for you to leave certain situations that are not healthy for you, whatever they may be. You're not chained to it. They're telling me to tell you to walk towards the light, towards the power of faith and hope. Stop going back to the great energies that keep pulling you in from the past. That's all I'm going to say. And you got massive changes and the prosperity begins. Oh, I'm loving it. This is a slow moving energy. You know, but this is something about you believing your own intuition. Trusting that wherever you've been was to push you forward because spirit guides are telling me that now you're looking through your fountains of emotion at the sun and here comes patience and planning and a lot of beautiful things are coming towards you. Spiritual unions with accelerated motion. I'm not going to repeat any of that, but I'll just take the cards I got. Okay. Who do I think? I know this is memories of love because for some reason I got, these are really old cards and I keep love old cards, but it chipped out and it's memories, <laughs> memories of love. It's like, I kind of think it's funny how that chipped out because isn't that what memories of love do? Oh, here's your card. First card they gave me is an ace. I got awareness. These are your incoming energies, you guys. This is your crown chakra. This is where we create. This is where we're open to the universe, the creator. It's a big power of you having the power of manifesting anything you want. All you have to do is keep throwing out there in a positive light and the information you receive and the clarity you have is going to lead you towards new beginnings. I got rest and rejuvenation and memories of love. Look at the green. I feel, I feel spirit guides are telling me that it's okay to cherish the things that you hold close to your heart. Get some downtime, get some rest and rejuvenation, reground yourself with something that you want to come into fruition. The last card they gave me is firm foundation. Wow. You guys, this is your base chakra. And now when your base chakra comes into alignment, and this is why they're telling you to reground yourself. Like if you start to get emotional in the next few weeks, we're in Pisces season, which is very normal. They want you to get more rest and rejuvenation. And it's okay to look at the things that you cherish with love, but be thankful for them as well because they taught you something about yourself. Because this is about your base chakra and it's telling me about you guys getting your feet rooted into the earth. Because once your base chakra is in alignment, all of you have everything in alignment. Like, I just feel spirit guides are telling me the truth and clarity that you're about to have and everything is open for you to create whatever you want. Plant your seeds, Virgos. Oh, why am I saying Virgos? Where are these signs coming from? This is freaking me out. Uh, Libras, plant your seeds. Your energy is in the Empress and nurture it. I just feel like something wants to come into abundance for you and it's okay for you to cherish the things that have touched your heart. It taught you something about what it is you deserve. Now, Libras, your energy is in the Empress. It's beauty. It's love. It's nurturing energy. It's patience. I just kind of feel spirit guides are telling me there's a lot of things that are flying towards you, Libras, that are absolutely beautiful. And it's okay for you to look back at where you've been. But spirit guides are telling me it's time for you now to look towards your two fountains of emotion, right through at it towards the sun. Look at what you want to create with a positive attitude. Look at what you want to come towards you with a positive attitude. What you've been through was a big lesson about your own wisdom and your own strength. And I feel spirit guides now are telling me, Libras, it's time for you guys to move forward with something. You're getting all the signs around you right now. So you're going to have to get some downtime in the next few weeks, meditate more, get rerooted into the earth and create what it is that you want for your own stability and the things you want to come into fruition. What the cards are telling me.
Now I'm going to get some messages for you, Libras. I don't know where Gemini and Virgo came from. I, sometimes, you know, the energies come out of me. And so when I say Gemini, I feel a lot of Gemini energy, even though it's your reading. You know, and Virgo is a card of Earth, and it's about getting rerooted into your own inner light. And I feel spirit guides are telling me you've been through something, Libras, and now it's time for you to move forward. Messages today. I'm going over here. I have Gemini energy, the lovers. I got the Knight of Love. Wow. Start putting a lot of work into something. The Eight of Pentacles. Stay focused. Stay centered. Stay, keep doing it. Keep putting work into it. Learn more. Spirit guys are telling me you're going after something and it's a big victory. Have the patience. Everything will find its, its own way to blend in divine timing. And stay committed and you shall get to the top. The great teacher of commitment and faith. The Hierophant. Wow. And self-mastery. Oh, Libras, this is beautiful. I feel spirit guides are telling me there's everything in life that it will always be a part of your journey. It, it's the people we're connected to. Reason, season, or lifetime. But if you keep going after the things in life that you truly want with your heart, the night of love, Libras, it's going to lead you to bigger parts of your destiny. Eight of Pentacles, meaning that's a card of just, if you really, really want something in your life, to put more work into it, to find more knowledge about it, go after it, take charge of situations in your life. And spirit guides are telling you everything's going to go your way. I Incoming messages, please. Then I'll do some angel messages, and then I'll do love crossing if you've loved or been dealing with somebody. For Libra, please, messages. That is so weird. Those two signs came out of me. Love crossing. Oh my God. What is going on here? Libra's strongest messages. This reading is for, please. About this reading. Strongest messages for Libra's. About this reading today. If you can tell anything to the sign of Libra. What messages do you have today? Thank you, spirit guys. Libra. Libra's in the house. Okay, Six of Swords is on my lap. Under the deck, there it is, big judgment. Wow, that was a little over Aquarius' reading. You guys, once again, judgment. Let's talk about it. This is what the Spirit Guides want to say to you. Letting go. A compassionate review. Thank the universe for what you've been through. The, whatever it was, it was to taught you something about yourself letting it go because you spirit guides are saying there's something new that wants to be rebirthed in your life and it's of magnificence i got an ace of wands stop circumventing about certain things that might go wrong stop being trapped in your own thoughts libras nine of pentacles self-mastery is all around you feeling whole your ten of cups you need to learn something about staying committed and having the faith and you will get to the top the great teacher of it all right, here's your messages today, Libras. I'm glad that you popped in here. Thank you, Spirit Guides. First card on my left is the Five of Swords and the Magician. This is the message. Stop allowing things that people say to you or have said to you or your own thoughts that demean you in some way because that's what this card is about. It blocks your manifestations. I will talk to you about manifestations. We all have the power. The Creator wants us to create the life of our dreams, but... We keep allowing our own negative thoughts to come in and interfere in something here that we're trying to create. And when we start to put out our manifestations, because you have crown chakra around you right now, and then we get in our negative thoughts, it closes the vessel. And then we got to reopen it up again. You have the power. You're saying everything's in your hands. You have the power to create the life you want. Stop allowing thoughts, words, people say to you, you got the power. You got the power. The king of swords. The king of air, your vision, your integrity, your truth. This king cannot be swayed. Stay in the king of air power, the king of swords. You showed up, justice. Everything in your life has always been about you fighting for what is right, what is wrong. But as long as you stay in your own truth and have the vision that you want, no one can sway you, Libras. Last card they gave you is a card of it's the light at the end of the tunnel. The Six of Swords. Relocation, travel, going towards the light at the end of the tunnel, towards peace. I feel spirit guides are telling me, if you stay in the king of air energy of vision, 
clarity, truth, integrity. Do not sway. Do not allow anyone to sway you. Fight for what you want in life, Libras. You are all about justice. You know, and spirit guides are telling me, as long as you stay in your own truth and vision about something, it's going to push you to a place where you want to be. And that's the message. Um, this is a big message for certain Libras, and I'm here to spread love and light, and I feel there's certain Libras that need this message. I'm going to get some angel cards now, because Libras, that was a beautiful reading. I don't know why Gemini and Virgo chopped in your reading. I don't know. Maybe my spirit guides today were a Gemini and a Virgo. I don't know. But whatever reason, the message was loud and clear for you. All right, let's get some angel cards now for my beautiful Libras. Thank you, spirit guides. What do you want to tell the sign of Libra today about this reading? Thank you. Any other angel cards for Libras? I see. Anything else you want? <clears throat> you want to tell the sign of Libra? Thank you. <clears throat> okay. I got eight of Ariels under the deck. All right, I know I, one flipped. I felt it. It kicked me. Well, it didn't kick me, but it hit my leg. Okay, who is it? Wow, a lot of area. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this is going to be certain messages here for certain Libras. And I'm going to read the one under the deck because the one that flew on the floor was the seven of Ariel. The one under the deck is the eight of Ariel. And then you have the king of air, king of Michael. Saw it in your messages. It's right here. All right, here we are. Take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. If there's something that you're trying, <coughs> excuse me, I'm so sorry. If there's something that you're trying to create in your life, if there's something that you're trying to come into fruition and you don't have all your knowledge, spirit guides are saying, well, go get it, Libras. Go get it. King of air, and that's a big king, king of Michael. Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity. A situation that calls for honest and open communication. Okay, name right there. You guys got a lot of cards. The Queen of Gabriel. You can do anything right now. See? Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. Follow the leader. Go after what you want. Everything's going to follow you. It's like, I, think I, just, I feel these energies. Ariel gave you the three. Do what you love. A time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors. Working with others in a cooperative manner. If you go after the things you want with love, I feel spirit guides are telling me, you're going to attract all the right people. You can do anything right now. And then the seven of Ariel, you go on the floor. You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for your harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. Now, these are all the same messages to me. Just a little more oof here and a little bit more oof here. The last card they gave me is the two of Raphael. Two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Your kindred spirits. Don't give up on those you love. And I'm going to add, and don't give up on yourself. And I feel that's one of the biggest messages of all is that we must connect to everything with love that we love, that we want with love. And don't forget about yourself, okay? I feel spirit guides are telling me everything is going your way, Libras. All you have to do is realize that you have the power in your hands of self-mastery. So I'm going to leave it right there. It's a beautiful reading today, Libras. I mean, when you show up in your messages with judgment, and an Ace of Wands. New inspiration is all around you, Libras. Let go of the past because you're rebirthing something new. It's all gonna it's all gonna play out in your favor. I loved your reading today, Libras. It was it was beautiful. You know, I hope it helped you in some way. It, I it was a strong reading for certain Libras. All right. Now I'm going to roll into Love Crossing. If you are in a harmonious situation or not dealing with anyone, they're not for you. They're just people dealing with love, problems with love with other, another person. All right, you guys, thank you for your love and support. Happy Thursday. Have a beautiful next few weeks. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. For the Libras out there um, dealing with somebody, I'm grab one deck. 
Strongest love crossing. They may or may not be all your persons. Some energies can be moved around. I got the star. Three cups of love. Somebody who wants to take a leap of faith. But they have to make sure every step they make is the right one. But this is very immature energy. Somebody who leaps and jumps before they think about their actions. The same with the cards are saying. I don't judge and I don't bash anybody. But somebody wants to take a leap of faith with something here. But Three of Cups is a reunion card. But Someone here is very immature and very impulsive when it comes to something they want. They don't think about their actions. But let's look. Love crossing strongest energies I need to see. My Libras have been dealing with. Thank you. Strongest love crossing energies for the sign of Libras. What else would you like to show me? Love crossing strongest. My Libras have been dealing with. Anything else? I see. Four of Wands. Somebody wants a reunion. Somebody wants something to open between the two of you. They trust in luck and right timing, the Wheel of Fortune. But somebody's laying down a fight here. Four Swords with Strength and Courage, the Empress, Wish Fulfillment, and the Magician. Wow, uh, this is somebody I feel who really wants something to come into play with you. But they have a lot of strength and courage right now, but they're laying down a fight. This person's tired of fighting for something here. Hmm. Oh, their broken heart. It always puts them in a place of their own thoughts of just circumventing. Like the Eight of Swords to me is just fear entrapment. This person's been struggling with a broken heart and it's getting them all up in their head about you. I feel this person wants you. They want to manifest something with you. Mm, I see you. Hold on. The lovers. There's Gemini energy. All right. That's uh, <laughs> uh, whoever you've been dealing with is a deep. Uh, it's a strong karmic tie. And I don't. I'm not. I'm not going twin soul flip. They're very rare. And but karma, strong karmic ties can feel like you're tied to this person. And they feel it too. Seven of Swords. The Knight. Seven has. All right. And the High Priestess. Seven of Swords. The night of communication. And I got someone who is running away from something here. Wow. Seven of swords, deceit. Why do I feel like someone has to keep running away in order to talk to you in some way? Or they're running away because they're afraid to talk to you in something here because they're going to let you... You know, when I say the three of swords sideways, so it's just telling me this person has not been doing any work on the pain they feel on their heart. They fear a lot here and it's thought fear, meaning like they're, you, your air, you should understand this because I'm here too, but it's like circumventing a lot. You know, they know there's something here they have to detangle. Poor person. Uh, they feel that you are definitely a part of their path, a, a karmic connection. They need to talk to you about something, but I feel it's someone who's running away. I think they're running away. We have the high priestess. This person fears the unknown. This person fears something here because of this pull that they keep feeling towards you. They, they feel that you're their wish, but they're doing a lot of alone time before they take a leap of faith. I'm only gonna say something, whoever you've been dealing with has to make a choice in their life right now about their own destiny and the choices that they're making, but whoever you're dealing with has been denying the broken heart like they're fighting with it every day but it's tugging at them so hard that they're getting all up in their head they have to they have to untie some stuff here with you i feel you are this person's wish i'm gonna leave it there i'm, I'm gonna look at their intentions because i feel this person is on a seesaw ride right now meaning up and down all around back and forth don't know what they want incoming intentions mean their strongest actions towards you in the next few weeks i got strength and courage i got someone who wants to go towards the light at the end of the tunnel and I got someone who's going to take a chance. Oh, with my beautiful Libras. I don't know who's under these decks. They're riding in, Libras. Wow, somebody's making their mind up that they're, th they're thinking about, they're, they want to take a chance with you. They all of a sudden, in the next few weeks, they're going to have the strength and courage. Like, you know what? I'm going to take a chance. I'm, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to take a chance towards my Libras. I'm tired of these things that keep tugging at me because I see their current energies. Strongest love intentions towards Libras, please, spirit guides. Next few weeks. 
strongest love crossing intentions towards Libras next few weeks. What would you like to show me? Thank you. Anything else? What's going on here? What is this? Yep. I thought I felt... Oh, look at this. Who's this? Uh, Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. And underneath the deck is the Eight of Swords. In the next few weeks, this person's going to have to realize that the only way they can get out of their own way with their thoughts is to take a chance with something. They're going to serve their head on a platter with you. They're going to let you know that you're their wish, that this is something they want to start working on. I can feel it. Page of Wands, Two of Cups, here comes the Ace of Swords. Somebody wants to clear something up with you. They're tired of nighttime anxiety about something in their life that has come full circle to start a new chapter with you. They're going to start putting the work into something. They're going to have the will and determination, trust their intuition to come in for something with you, my beautiful Libras. Oh, they're going to take a leap of faith. Here they come. All right. Ten of Cups is over here to my left. And I got someone coming out of their cave, the hermit. Well, I just feel it's somebody who has done a lot, a lot of introspection about their life and the things that, that perhaps they've been missing out on. This is someone who's coming out of the cave to let you know that you are their ultimate. That, that they want to work on something here with you. I can feel it. I just feel it. I don't know who this is, but they're, they're taking a leap of faith towards you. They're going to jump. They're tired of being in their head about something. They, they're ready to start a new chapter. Here comes Scorpio transformation. I have it with the Five of Swords. And the last card is the card of the Four of Wands, a reunion. Gateways opening, celebratory to times. They are going to transform something about themselves. And Scorpio is a dark night of the soul. And I feel it's this person's own energy of words. Like this person has been replaying things in their head over and over. Things people say to them. People, things people have said to them. But they're finally going to get the, the, the cloak off. Because they want something here to open up with you guys. They want to start to work on this union. They have, they want a reunion. It's like it's someone who's coming in, you guys. Because I started with the Ten of Cups, Four of Wands. And this is in the center. I feel this person is going to take a leap of faith towards you. They're just going to take a, a risk. They're going to start to put some work into something here. They're tired of being in their thoughts about something. When I say something, because it could be so many things. But the chariot is big Cancerian energy, so... They're trusting their intuition they had to maneuver towards you. I feel they're starting to see the truth and clarity of a situation. And I feel they want new chapters. They want to start you know, something new. I got the fool in the world, you guys. An old chapter taking a leap with a new one. All right, this is what I have for you. I hope it helped you in some way. Because whoever this is, they're tired of being up in their head about something here. And it's all been out of fear. And I feel they're going to start to realize it. And here they come. Let's see what happens. Energy shift like the wind. But this is going to be their energies next few weeks. So this is what I have for you today, my beautiful Libras. I hope this reading helped you today. I wish you all much love and light. Many beautiful blessings. Thank you for viewing me. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you.